guys good morning how are you so welcome to my channel my name is Jay if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you'll get a notification every time I post a new video so as you guys can tell I am in a different area because I am filming a meal prep video for you guys so I am scheduled for tonight and tomorrow night to go into work so I'm on night shift so I wanted to show you guys just a quick easy meal that you guys can cook at home I'm going to be using my crock pot and I'm going to be making shredded chicken so this is really good for you guys to make for like tacos dip or just anything like that so I'm making shredded chicken and I'm going to use it for a taco form so shredded chicken tacos and I'm using my crock pot so I wanted to show you guys just a simple crock pot meal so this meal only requires three or four ingredients it's super simple so I'm starting this meal off this morning and it is just a little bit after 8 30 and it will be ready by this afternoon when I wake up so I can eat dinner and then go into work and then I'll have some to take with me and then I'll also have some for tomorrow when I go into work as well so if you guys are interested in seeing just a simple three to four ingredient crock pot meal and how you can utilize your crock pot or meal preps then please keep watching okay guys so I talk a lot about meal prepping on my channel so that's why I'm doing this video today because it's one thing for me to talk to you guys about it but it's another thing for me to show you so I'm gonna show you guys all of the ingredients it's gonna take for this meal and then I'm going to just basically prepare the meal and then when it's ready this afternoon I will show you guys the end result so like I said I am making shredded chicken tacos so the first thing that you will want to use if you're using a crock pie I definitely recommend you get these slow cook liners this will keep you from making a mess within your crock pot these are very handy and I use the ones by Reynolds kitchen I find that they are very sturdy now for this specific recipe I am using actually five total ingredients um, you can use less so this can be anywhere from like a three to five ingredient meal so I'm using the number one ingredient here of course which is chicken so these are Purdue chicken breast these are already trimmed from the fat, so I have four of these here that are ready to go. I have my taco seasoning to give it that taco flavor. I like to add corn just because I like that chicken corn type mix. So I'm going to be adding whole kernel corn. I am also using Ortega taco sauce. I actually use the thick and smooth mild version because I do not like chunky salsa so I'll be adding this and then you also need to add the cream of chicken so this will give it that smooth flavorful taste um, that way you don't have to add any water or anything so this is like your base to bring everything together so I have everything ready here I'm gonna put it in my crock pot and the main thing to remember is to actually shred the chicken and I just have a standard size family crock pot here by crock pot brand.
guys, so that's it. You saw all of my ingredients. You saw how I was putting everything in the crock pot. There really is no rhyme or rhythm as to how you place everything in the crock pot. I just put the chicken down at the bottom and put all of the other ingredients on top. And then I was using a spoon just to kind of mix everything. So that's it, guys. I like it to cook on low, and then it will be ready this afternoon. So I'll come back later and show you guys the final product. So I love a crock pot. I feel like it's one of the best kitchen appliances pretty much out there. It works great for active families, busy adults, just anybody who needs a quick meal and you can set it and basically forget it. Um, I hope you guys are not having too much trouble hearing me because I'm downstairs and the jets from the Air Force Base are doing some flybys. I do not live on base. Um, I do get that question a lot, but I live pretty close to base and I know the jets are kind of going off right now. So I hope you guys don't have too much trouble hearing me. But yes, I will check in with you guys when I wake up this afternoon and when I show you guys the final product from the crock pot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Hi guys, how are you? So it's four o'clock. I'm officially up for the afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how everything turned out in the crock pot. I just took a little peek at it and went on and shredded the chicken so it's ready to go. Then I'm going to show you guys how I prepare everything. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to kind of stay back right here because I don't want the steam to fog up my camera lens but this is everything so i've already shredded the chicken and we are ready to go so this is the final product the shredded chicken tacos now i do advise when you are shredding the chicken with the fork just to be careful so that you don't puncture the lining here because then that would of course mess up the bottom of the crock pot. So I'm going to take two of these flour tortillas. This is the particular brand that I actually like and I'm just going to put two of these on my plate with some of the chicken from the crock pot. Sprinkle just a little bit of cheese because I don't like a whole lot of cheese. So a little bit of cheese on there with the tortilla and the shredded chicken and we have dinner. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little cooking with me video as I just went through and showed you guys how to make this simple shredded chicken taco meal in the crock pot. So leave me your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Let me know some of the recipes you guys like to make in the crock pot. I just found this on Pinterest. It's one of the places that I like to go and look for recipes. So I am going to go ahead and eat and then I have to get ready. So make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you guys want more videos like this. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.